Hello guys. So today is magsolve ulit tayo ng problem <coughs> sa strength of materials under sa um, simple stress. So yung problem natin for today is um, is the last problem for the simple stress. And yung next problems natin will be about sa shearing stresses na. So <coughs> um, let's start. So, yung problem natin is um, problem 114. So, ito yun. And um, the problem state that the homogeneous bar ABCD, so itong bar na to, um, shown in figure P-114 is supported by a cable that runs from A to B, A to B, um, around the smooth peg at E. So, <clears throat> again, pag sinabing smooth peg, meaning kung ano yung force na naglaran dito sa cable A to E is same sa force na naglaran dito from E to B or B to E, either way. So, ngayon, a vertical cable at C, so meron ulit support dito, cable, and a smooth inclined surface at D. So, eto, may support ulit dito or naka ano siya parang naka lie down siya sa inclined um, plane not totally lie down no? <clears throat> but naka support yung ano inclined sa bar, bar natin so surface at D determine the mass of the heaviest bar that can be supported if if the stress in each cable is limited to 100 megapascal so, yung mga stresses daw dito sa bars natin is limited to 100 megapascal. The area of cable AB is 250 and that of cable C is 300. So, meron silang, itong dalawang cable na to is same but itong cable na to is 300. May answer tayo na given. So, ito yung 647 um, mg um, megagrams megagrams yan so yan so yan dinrawing ko na yung figure natin <coughs> para medyo uh, makatipid tayo sa ano. so ngayon um, <coughs> gagawin <coughs> excuse me gagawin natin is to um, draw the FBD diagram I mean the FBD of this um, figure. So ngayon, paano yan? Um, FBD. Free body diagram. <coughs> so, sulat ko lang muna ito. So yan, sabi is smooth peg, ba? And sabi ko is same yung forces nila. So, maybe, um, tawagin natin tong force of AB. And, ito din is AB din to siya. Kasi same lang man yung force nila. And, ito is force C. And, because nga, naka, naka support din siya sa inclined. So, meron yung ano dito. May inclined na, um, reaction. Or yung normal force normal force yan siya guys ito yung sabi natin na reaction at D RD na lang RD so ka, dahil nga naka incline sya meaning mayroon syang um, components so lagay natin yung components nya um, ilagay natin yung RD uh, may 50 degrees angle tayo dito so meaning um, pag maglagay tayo ng line dito so di, this is 50 degrees also diba? so meaning yung RD to the x axis will be 40 degrees um, so ito is RD sine 40 and this will be RD cos um, 40 with respect dito sa angle um, 40 degrees so yan ito na yung 
Oops. Kasi nga hinahanap natin yung mass meaning and um yung mass natin guys is m is equals to weight times gravity. And yung weight natin so may wala tayong anon yung w natin but yung gravity is known. So yung weight natin syempre pag sinabing weight is nagaak siya sa middle ng um, or center ng mga object. So in this case sa bar natin is nagaak siya dito sa gitna kasi ito yung bar natin, di ba? So it, dito siya sa gitna ng bar natin. So ito yung W. So ito yung 2 meter dahil nga ito is 2 meter. So kalahati yan is 1 and 1 meter. And this is 2. So yun, meron na tayong FBD ng figure. Then <clears throat> first first gagawin natin is kasi nga sa na, nakikita niyo talagang medyo mahirap siyang isod agad kasi puro anon, anon lahat anon walang given force or kahit ano so mag hahanap tayo ng mga equations to solve this problem ngayon um, to, to find the first equation natin mag um, summation forces x tayo so summation of forces x equals to 0 so yung ano yung x natin is rd cos and PAB with angle of 30 so positive PAB PAB cosine of 30 um, and negative RD cosine of 40 equals to 0 so kayo nang bahala kung anong term yung gusto nyong unahin so siguro is um, PAB na lang muna para positive yung ano natin <coughs> PAB is equals to RD cosine of 40 all over cosine of 30 or uh, um, cosine of 40 over cosine 30 is 0. Point, um, sorry 0. 0.8 4 or 885 so 0.885 rd so ito yung equation 1 natin in terms of PAB so yan meron natin equation 1 then yung magagawa natin equation is tatlo lang kasi meron natin summation forces y um, summation of forces x and yung summation moment <coughs> So, ngayon, gawa tayo ng summation of forces y equals to 0. So, meron tayong halos lahat, no? Ito lang RD cos yung wala. So, PAB. PAB um, sine 30 then plus PAB itong PAB na to and minus W plus PC then RD cosine I mean RD sine 40 equals to 0 so ngayon may PAB tayo dito PAB and meron tayong equation for PAB natin in terms of RD so um, substitute na lang natin para mag ma tawag nito um uh, para ma shorten yung equation natin mamaya <clears throat> so 0 0.885 rd so ito yung pab sine 30 so masabit yung ano kalo ko sa sa phone so yan just natin plus PAB still 0 0.885 um, RD then meron tayong W minus W plus PC 
um, plus rd sin 40 equals to 0. So, ngayon, add mo lang muna natin yung mga like terms or yung mga rd. So, meron tayong tatlong rd. So, um, ano natin yan? 885 then sin 30 plus natin sa 0 0.885 then plus um, sin 40 so meron tayong 1.97 7.0rd um, minus w plus pc equals to 0 um, so um, ngayon pwede nating ano kaya na din balok ng anong um, term yung gusto nyong um, i ano to i solve for in terms of a term in terms of a term so siguro yung sa akin is PC muna para maano <coughs> kasi syempre may RD tayo dun para maging ano sila so negative or positive W minus 1.970 RD so meaning ito yung um, PC natin in terms of RD and W so yan, meron tayong equation 2 and syempre kailangan natin hanapin yung RD in terms of RD natin or equation ng RD so ito yung equation ng PC um, PAB so kailangan natin hanapin yung RD natin <coughs> so to solve it ano na lang tayo Pwede kayo mag-summation moment kahit saan. Point na to, point. So, gusto ko is ito na lang para mabawasan yung paggamit natin ng angle. Summation moment at A. So, ito yung A natin. Kita ko ba? So, summation moment at A equals to 0. So, maganda guys pag sinulat nyo yung ano, figure natin nyo yung, or yung FBD. Para kasi hindi na maano kasya sa sa ano, video so summation moment at A so adjust ko na lang um, ito yung point A natin so 0 yung PAB so yung forces involved is 1, 2, 3, 4 ito is 0 kasi going siya directly dun sa moment center so 1, 2, 3 and 4, four. so first is yung PAB natin um, negative PAB times 2 so ito yan siya PAB times 2 then W um, positive and with distance of 3 um, W times 3 next is PC negative distance 4 PC times 4 <coughs> then meron tayong RD sign um, distance of 6 and negative din siya RD sign 40 distance of 6 equals to 0 ito yung <coughs> um, equation natin for moment at A so in terms of RD so meron ulit tayong PAB dito so um, negative yan 0 0.885 um, times 2 RD so ito yung equation natin for PAB ngayon plus 3W then yung PC natin is meron tayong ito. So ano lang natin yan, substitute natin. PC is W minus 1.970 RD. So ito yung PC times 4 distance. Then RD. So ano lang natin yan. Sin 40 times 6. Meron tayong 3.857 um, equals to 0. <coughs> so, um, ano natin siya? Combine, combine like terms or add like terms tayo. <coughs> so, first is 0 0.885 times 2. 0 0.885 times 2. Meron tayong 1.77 negative. 
RD then plus 3W ito is negative so multiply mo na natin siya 4 times W is 4W negative 4W ito positive 4 times ano 4 times 1.970 is 7.88 so plus 7.88 RD minus RD 3.857 cos 0 so ngayon combine like terms add natin lahat ng RD and yung W negative 1.77 kita pa ba um, then plus 7.88 then minus 3.857 meron tayong 2.253 RD positive 2.253 RD then um, positive 3W and negative 4W is equals to negative W equals to 0 so transpose yung W so meron tayong RD equals to W over 2.253 so ito yung RD natin yun, meron tayong equation 3 substitute natin yung equation 3 to 2 and equation 3 and 1 so <clears throat> meron akong isang ano dito so ngayon um, yan sulat lang natin yung equation ng RD natin RD equals to W 2.253 um equation ng PC natin is equals to W 1.970 RD and of course yung <coughs> PAB equals to 0 0.885 RD ngayon <coughs> sabi kanina sa book may or may conditions kanina sa book yung Q is not to exceed 100 MPA so yung unit ng MPA is ano mm squared so yan um, bakit ko siya kinonvert to um, m millimeter kasi yung area natin is in terms of <coughs> um, millimeter din so yung area daw area AB equals to 200 millimeter squared and area C is 300 millimeter squared so ngayon yun yung condition natin not to exceed 100 MPA so ngayon in, kapag kasi nga yung formula natin is QPA so ito yung follow natin na general formula so ngayon for member AB AB muna tayo so hanapin muna natin yung ano safe flow di ba kasi yung yun yung condition natin um, determine the mass of the heaviest bar that can be supported if the stress in each cable is limited to 100 meaning hanapin muna natin yung safe flow or safe w yung yung w natin ito kasi um hanapin muna tayo natin yung ano yung W in terms of cable AB and <coughs> cable C para ma ano natin ma different or mapili natin kung aling W yung gagamitin natin so ngayon um, for AB for member AB um, W for AB is um, 100 newton mm squared is equals to um, yung PAB natin is ito diba? so meron tayong 0 0.885 and yung RD natin is ito meaning ganyan sya 2.253 all over um, area area of AB is 250 lang 50 mm squared so bale mm squared to m 
2.W so yung yung unit ng W natin is Newton so W so in, input nyo na lang sa calcul nyo yung equation natin so 100 equals um, 0.885 um, alpha x 2.2 2.253 over 250 so yan so meron tayong 63 644.0 7 newton yan yung w natin for uh, member AB na hindi siya mag um, exceed ng 100 MPA um, <clears throat> and for W in terms of um, C cable C is still QPA meron tayong 100 um, equals to yung PC natin P in terms of C is ito so W minus 1.970 times RD and still yung RD natin is ito W 2.253 yan over area so area daw ng C is 300 so um, W yan meron tayong 100 so, input nyo na lang alpha x minus um, 1.970 alpha x 2.253 300. So, yan yung ano ko, equation sa calcul. So, lumabas is 238833.92 Newton. So, yan. Yan. So, as you can see guys, <coughs> saan dito yung pag sinabing safe load kasi yung kaya ng bar kasi may limited, di ba? So, Pag sinabing ganun, is hanapin talaga natin is yung ano, yung pinaka smallest or yung smaller sa dalawang or sa mga options natin. So, in this case, yung um, WC, WAB. So, yung konti is itong 63,644. Um, Bakit? Kasi nga, pag itong W na to is ginamit natin dito sa ano equation for AB. So, yung stress natin dito is lalampas na ng 100 um, megapascal. So, pwede nyo itry. Itong, two, itong W ng C is um, equate nyo dito. Then, itong 100 Newton is gawin nyo muna ng Q. Bale, unknown siya muna. So, dapat yung dapat is hindi siya maglampas ng 100. But, because nga mas malaki ito kaysa dito. So, talagang mas malaki siya kaysa sa 100 pwede natin itry kung gusto nyo talaga syempre pag itong W na to is um, sinubstitute ko dito so hindi talaga siya kasi nga um, 100 lang yung galing sa equation nya eh pero pag ito is um, substitute natin sa W na to so yun hindi siya magiging equals to 100 so ngayon yung W natin is ito yan ito yung W natin so <clears throat> ito yung figure natin no? ngayon um, to solve for the um, tawag na ito to solve for the mass diba? mass yung mass talaga yung final answer natin not the weight pag sinabing mass kasi may may gravity na siya so iba iba yung mass natin per pag ibang planets yung weight natin is parang ano lang without the gravity so mass is equals to w over g yan yung formula for mass then meron tayong ano so by the way yung gravity natin is equals to 9.81 um, meter per second squared but um pwede nyo i-google kung, kung meron kayo dyan ngayon is, it is equal also to 9.81 kilonewton ah, I mean newton for, uh, per kilogram 
per kilogram. So, newton per kilogram. Meaning, pag i-substitute natin yung 63644.07 newton all over 9.81 newton per kilogram. Cancel, cancel. So, yung mass natin is equals to 63644.07 divided by 9.81 So, meron tayong 6487.67 kilograms So, yung answer natin sa book is um, 6.47 mg megagrams yan meaning, i-divide pa natin to ng 1000 1,000 to be able to um, tawag nito maging megagrams sya so 6.487 mg na yan sya megagrams so ngayon yung answer ko is 6.487 and yung sa book is 6.47 so Um, parang acceptable naman din siguro to sa mga prof so yun, ito yung final answer natin for problem 114 and yung last problem natin for the simple stress so yung next problem pala natin is ano na, shearing stresses so ito yung mga ano, may mga lect lecture dito ang sample problems baka gusto nyong itry para next sa next tutorial ko is um, medyo familiar na kayo sa mga um, kung paano isolve so ito yung mga ano so yung book na to is ano strength of materials 4th edition by And Andrew Andrew Pytel tama ba yung pag pronounce Andrew Pytel and Ferdinand L. Singer so yan, ito yung book na ginagamit ko so I hope ma na may natutunan kayo for this tutorial and um, kung may nakita kayong mali or medyo ayaw nyo ng solution ko so yun, kayo na bahala humusga so yun guys, ito yung approach ko so hindi talaga ako nagtuturo. Siguro nag-share lang ako ng um, approaches ko for this kind of problem. So, yung pag-approach ko for this problem um, is ito. So, hanap ang equation. After that, um, hanapin yung safe load. Safe W. So, with the given condition. So, yan. Ito yung safe load natin. Then, yun na. Um, substitute natin dun sa equation ng mass kasi nga weight yung nasold natin so yan and final answer so thank you guys and I hope um, safe kayo and healthy so God bless us all and thank you don't forget to subscribe